Going? Good. Okay, so welcome. Conversation class, week four. We did a whole lesson on just various idioms today. English people love idioms. We love to exaggerate stuff. So here we go. Now, to get on like a house on fire means to get on very, very well, to have a really, really good relationship. This has come up this week, which is why I decided to do this lesson today. Now, if you crack somebody up, you make them laugh a lot. Now, sometimes you can, get, you can crack yourself up or get cracked up and it means to go a bit crazy, but if somebody cracks you up, normally they make you laugh. It depends, I guess, on the context of what they're actually saying. To give somebody a hand means to help somebody. To drive somebody up the wall means to make someone really, really angry. Now, if you're like clockwork, you're always on time. Uh, to take a rain check, it's more of an American expression, I think. It means to postpone or delay something. Normally, um, it can also mean to cancel it completely. Um, so, yeah, any of those things. If you look like death warmed up, you feel really, really sick. You're white, you're pale, you're weak, you're exhausted, and you look really, really bad. You look like death. <coughs> Basically, if you have the flu, that's when it's really bad. Now, if something costs you an arm and a leg, it's very expensive. If you sleep like a log, you go into a really deep, heavy sleep. You know, someone can shake you and you don't wake up. It's that heavy. Uh, to be on its last legs means basically every, in any moment now it's going to die. We were talking there about a car. This car was on its last legs. Any minute it was going to break down and that would be the end of it. We can also use this for people. If I am on my last legs, it basically means I'm going to die very soon. It's a common expression. Sometimes, I, you know, you'll be in hospital and someone will say, I'm on my last legs. I'm on my last legs now. Um, <clears throat> to be down on your luck means to be unlucky. To be the black sheep of the family. Now, this is an interesting one. This caused a lot of debate. So I've, I've left it at this. To be the black sheep of the family means you are the one who stands out as being different. It's used in a negative way, but usually the one that's different isn't actually such a bad guy after all. But it, it can be that bad guy. You know, it's, it depends on the context. But basically, it's that one in the family who is very different from everyone else. It's the one who everyone talks about all the time. A mixed blessing is really the good and the bad you know if you get a blessing from from a priest it's meant to be a good thing but it has some bad things in it so it can mean you know ups and downs basically when life is a bit of a mixed blessing it has its good stuff and it has its bad stuff uh, to have your hands full means to be very very busy a vicious circle is repeating the same monotonous cycle every single day monotonous boring you know, you get up, but you don't want to get up. You go to work, but you don't want to go to work. You have lunch, you never have anything you enjoy. Everything is really like, it's just depressing. If you have a gut feeling, thank you for all of these words. Okay, a gut feeling, intuition, a sense of something in your stomach or just in your, in your whole being. A feeling, an instinct, an insight. These are all really good words to describe a gut feeling. To take your mind off something is to think about something different. Basically, you've got a problem. And if I invite you around because I want to take your mind off it, I want to take your mind off it so you think about nicer things for a little while. Just to have a break from thinking about your problems all the time. Uh, to have a heart-to-heart -heart chat. Chat is a deep, intimate, honest, sincere, thank you Alan, a talk, something really intimate where you really go into your emotions very deeply. To be on the mend means to start when you're getting better. You know, I'm on the mend now, I fractured my foot about two weeks ago, but I'm on the mend now, I don't need my crutches anymore, I can walk a little bit. And to have a ball, another American expression, that is an A by the way, apologies for my terrible writing, means to have a great time, and that is it.